Well, Black and White Network, let's talk about Candace Owens of the Daily Wire and Black Lives Matter. Now, Black Lives Matter, I believe, is a fraud. People that donated to Black Lives Matter, that money has not been put back into the black community. It went to actually buying large mansions. That's what BLM actually should, should actually stand for. Now, I said it before in the past, the name Black Lives Matter for this organization, that was ingenious. It was completely ingenious, even though it had nothing to do with black lives. And now, folks, on BLM has really, really come under a lot of heat as Patrice Cullors and these other Marxists actually pretty much stole money and put it in their own pockets. Now, Kansas Owens actually has a, um, a new documentary on uh, BLM called The Greatest Lie Ever Sold. And I think it's actually going to be on uh, Daily Wire. I do have a membership over there, but there is a trailer that drop. And boy, the things that uh, BLM spent money on is worse than what we already already reported on in videos. Folks, let's go ahead and watch this trailer here. This should be eye opening to people that actually donated to BLM. Let's roll it. So Black Lives Matter released their 990 IRS filings. They collected $80 million. Where is that money? It's not here. Everything looks worse than it was. So where's the money? It's not here. Not reinvesting in the black community. Oh, well. Where have you seen that money impacted throughout the city? So my producer just sent me a link. It is just shocking to me because of how much money was raised to think that where he lived, the bills weren't being covered. Super frustrating, but that's a dead end. So now I think I think she's actually referring to uh, George Floyd. I think that's what she's actually referring to. Can't confirm that. But uh, George Floyd was in uh, Minneapolis. And I believe that's what she's actually talking about. And here's where it gets really interesting. Ready for. Yeah, this is pretty eye opening right here, guys. Check this out. Some BLM pride. Another 200 K went to escorts, BDSM workers, strippers, peep show workers, phone sex operators and webcam performers. And then at that moment, it became personal. And I thought, not only am I going to say the truth, <laughs> I am going to scream the truth louder than you can scream the lies. It's incredible that the majority of the world hasn't seen this. Wow, guys. Wow. So the first part of that, not a surprise. That money wasn't getting getting reinvested in the community. It wasn't. But the second part here, when you started with the LGBT stuff, now we know that um, BLM was started by uh, three lesbians. Money getting donated to uh, strippers, BDS DM, DM workers. Phone, did she say phone sets workers or something like that? Yeah. This is crazy. Crazy. You people that voted for BLM. I would be asking for my money back. I mean, Sharon Osborne, Ozzy Osborne's own wife, gave nine hundred thousand dollars, almost a million dollars to BLM. And she wants her money back. I can't wait to see this documentary, guys. I really, really can't. I know that this came out um, a few days ago, but I had to do a reaction to this, guys. BLM is a scam, a scam. They're pushing Spend all your money that you people that actually uh, donated. Probably the listeners on this channel probably did not donate a dime to Black Lives Marxists uh, because that's just the way our audience is over here. But for you people watching that donates to BLM, I don't care if it's a dollar, five dollars or whatever. Your money did not go back into the black community. Seems like a lot of it actually went to some LGBT stuff. Wow. Can't wait to check this out, guys. Comes out, I believe, in three days, October the 12th. I'm going to check out that documentary on um, Daily Wire. Daily Wire is putting out some good good documentaries. I mean, Matt Walsh's, um, uh What is a Woman? 
Really, really did enjoy that. But I believe this one here, The Greatest Lie Ever Sold, that's the one I'm really, really interested in watching, guys. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and White Network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time.